In your face, man. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> the fight's over. I was just... So you just throw someone to the ground? What's wrong with you? here, you men are done for the day. Return to your posts. Now, if this had been real, had you actually been fighting the KGB, God forbid, you'd all be dead right now. Actually, I thought we did pretty well. Dead! Yeah, um, about that... Why are we still alive, sir? Blank, son. I reloaded all your weapons while you were sleeping. What about the grenades? They were blanks, too. Oh, uh, what? Shut up. Good to know that we're prepared if the KGB do attack. Well, live ammo piercing your body builds character. Settle down, rookies. We got a lot of ground to cover, and I'm not missing Ed Sullivan tonight. Let me make sure I got this right. Let's see. Edwin Kittinger. Sir, yes, sir. Call me Duke, sir. Well, aren't we very hale and hearty? I'm a coffee achiever, sir. You've got a clean record. A regular by-the-book Airedale, or in your case, possibly more of a border collie. Sit, boy. Next, Johnny Sasaki. Right here, sir. It says here that you're a former Gru who defected not too long ago. I don't really care, but why the change of heart? Well, this prisoner escaped on my watch on account of this rancid bat I ate, and he eventually destroyed our entire fortress. You ate a bat? Well, yeah. I just didn't appreciate getting a case of- Uh, no. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Your recruiter must have been desperate. All right. Next, Connor Smith. That's me. Johnny and Connor. Oh, that's a good one. What? Nothing. So you're straight out of boot camp and fresher than a spring daisy. Could I request a more flattering comparison? Fresher than a working girl with Stockholm Syndrome. I'll take the daisy, sir. All right. So last on the list is... I can't be reading this right. Speak easy. Over here! What's your full name? Well, anyway, it says here you're a combat specialist straight out of the Marine Corps and a Harvard grad with a recorded IQ of over 200. Roger that. And it also says here that during a training exercise, you were wounded in the back of the head by friendly fire and put into a coma for seven months. How you feeling now, son? Not bad. Right, well, glad to have you with us. Alright, one more time, which one of you is Duke? Right here, sir. Johnny? Here, sir. Connor? That's me. And that means your speakeasy. Nice job. Sweet knees of Jesus, I can't tell any of you grunts apart. We're gonna need some kind of identification, cause your name isn't exactly floating on the top of your heads. All right, men. On your feet. You know, these recent cuts in the military funding could actually be a blessing in disguise. 
Now, we all know that the government wants better results without having to spend a lot of money on important things like paid vacations and pension plans and body armor, right? Sir, yes sir. That's practical thinking, sir. So, by better results, you mean more killing, right? Well, thinking along those lines, the Fox unit's accountant decided that five men in the unit means we only receive five weapons. And if you're playing along at home, that comes out to one weapon each, forever, until you die. Uh, I don't want to die. Son, you're in the army now. What you want doesn't matter. Anyway, that also means you're going to have to return the weapons that you were using earlier. This is the elite unit, right? All right. I'll start off by taking, my mother said, to get the scorpion. Do you see the laser sight? Hey, no, you'll damage my cornea. When you see this laser, you'll know it's me, Lieutenant Deckard. Your lieutenant. Never, ever shoot me. Okay, so next up is the M16. This rifle has a limited magazine, but the optional suppressor and minimized recoil make it the conservative soldier's weapon of choice, ranked number 6th in a poll by Seventeen Magazine two years ago. Conservative soldier is my middle name, sir. Moving along, we have the M37 pump-action shotgun, and various types of grenades, and... Grenade! All right, here you go. Not bad. Me next. I'll take the shotgun. All right, Johnny. But remember, the M37 is an extremely, extremely powerful weapon. and should be handled with maturity and patience. Haha, <laughs> wicked. Quick, somebody take a photo of me. And should never be pointed at your lieutenant. Ow, my eyes! Knock it off! Who don't we aim at? All right, all right, I won't! Won't? What? Hey, as long as we're on the subject... Okay, I won't shoot you! Who won't you shoot? I won't shoot the Lieutenant, Duke, or Speakeasy. I get the picture, now will you cut it out? Here, Connor. The last one's yours. A Mark 22 pistol. Oh look, Connor. It's been modified to fire tranquilizer rounds. Great. I get the pea shooter. Look, think of it as a chance to exercise your waning moral superiority. There is no way that this could possibly be useful. Look, I could have left you with nothing. Nothing but a knife, or a board with a nail in it, or a flaming head of kabuki hair, or a bag of candy, or a magical camera that you use to trap ghosts. What am I supposed to do against someone with live ammo? Connor, stop whining, or I'll, I'll make you bunk with Johnny. Hey! All right, men, hit the sack. Tomorrow we start training. Seriously, what the hell? I couldn't even kill a dog with this thing. Hey, Johnny, you're bunking with Connor tonight. 